Oh my goodness, this is such a perfect moment to be experiencing. I was talking in yesterday's video, you can check that out right here if you want, about how we are the space in which this linear mind is unfolding or experiencing existence. We are the space in which all things are unfolding and uh, we are the space in which the consciousness of your own perceptions are unfolding. And I want to shout, just share a little bit of my experiences in this trippy world of theta and delta and even some alpha brainwaves in this trippy world of ecstasis. I was... The other day I lost in a mirror, I was, uh, these experiences that I'm sharing with you are purely um, natural. And when I say natural, I mean your brain, my brain, the human brain was meant to uh, experience life in a nonlinear way, in a multidimensional way. And for us to begin tapping those multi-dimensional ways again yesterday's video I talked about that to so check that out and to begin to experience a multi-dimensional way we have to begin to learn how to tree program the mind to move away from the identified self or the identified perceptual reality that's existing in the zero dimensional field or the uh, time-based field and as we do this, as the mind is programmed, and I'm going to talk more about this later, and we're also, it's coming September, we're going to have a whole uh, metaphysical mindfulness class. It's going to be some deep shit. But, and you can check that out uh, below in the details. But um, we're going to be experiencing, uh, when you begin tapping this thing, when you begin awakening to the reality of your spaciousness, of your light being, of what you truly are, this multidimensional being, your uh, experiences that begin to take shape or that you begin to become aware of beyond the linear timeline are tremendous. The experiences, you might still have some experiences that go, oh, I remember when that happened, but for the most part, you're living a present um, you're living as a present expression and that life that you're living is swallowing up all the time it's swallowing up the zero dimensional field and even more often and, and even a lot is swallowing up the three dimensional field of height width and depth and you're beginning to exp and you'll begin to experience four and five and six and seven and just a multi-dimensional world the we don't know how many dimensions you can experience but for the most part, your mind's been programmed to only experience that three-dimensional or what most people would call full, that four-dimensional reality. Three-dimensional, I talk about it as a three-dimensional reality being zero, one, two, and three. It's, so it's really four, but um, just what people call it. So we're, we're, we're beginning to experience some of those things. Some of those things that you experience are so trippy. You know, like I've heard, I've never actually taken psychedelic drugs, but... I've heard, um, and I'm not knocking them in any way, shape, or form, I've heard that a lot of uh, truly cool trips take place with, with psychedelics. Um, they don't sound much different than the trips that I experience every single day in ecstasis. Um, ecstasis, I'm going to do a video tomorrow on ecstasis, so be sure to check that out. I'll actually post a link to it. Um, if you so, so, sub, subscribe so that you can get all this, but I'll talk to you about the frequency of ecstasis tomorrow. Anyway, I was the other day, I put my hand on a mirror. I was just in our bathroom, put my hand in a mirror, and completely in this theta state, uh, in this state of ecstasis, put, with my hand on the mirror, I got lost, and I forgot which one I was. Like, I forgot which body was my aware my awareness was in uh, I didn't know whether my awareness was in this body or this body in other words there was no self I it was as if there was two of me but there was one one conscious awareness of that dual self 
And I, I just was tripping. I don't know how long I was there because, again, this is a really timeless, ecstasis is a timeless place. You've transcended the linear altogether. But I was tripping in this multidimensional world uh, that seemed, it seemed to just last and last and last. And I, I remember looking and I was stuck there. And this thought rises in my mind and I'm like, I need to move. If I move, I might again wake up enough to realize which one my consciousness is animating, which one I'm animating. And so I moved, and as I moved, I, I again realized, okay, this is a mirror, and here I am. And it wasn't that that was me and this is me, but it was that was a mirror and this is me. And I, it's like when you go into this multidimensional world, it's like when you go into one of those uh, mirror mazes and you see yourself times a thousand for most people their three-dimensional mind goes whoa that's wild i'm tripping this is cool i see myself times a thousand but in a multi-dimensional awareness you lose which one is you because every single one of those is actually you being exper experiencing every other one of you that you're experiencing and so it's an experience within an experience within an experience within an experience times one thousand times one million times infinity and this is not abnormal at all to experience uh, for me. As I, um, because of what in ecstasis, I, I'm telling you for me, but I need you to realize in ecstasis, in this place of ecstasis, your mind gets really lost in the identity that you used to have because you held, because your mind was existing in the zero dimensional field, that boring you is really lost and gone. There's no, in other words, there's no more identity. So when you're experiencing that zero dimensional field, it's just rising and you're experiencing it, or I should say it's being experienced within you, but it's no longer defining you at all. So we can talk about the I, we can talk about me, but the whole time we know that there's no definition, none of that's bringing definition to my present experience or to the enjoyment of this moment, because that is what this avatar and this body and the creative potential of the multidimensional light body is doing right now. Um, so yeah, I, I also um, recently had an experience where I was looking at uh, a leaf and this leaf was moving in and out of the three-dimensional world and then it began to morph or began to expand and shrink, expand and shrink, expand and shrink. And I was just tripping out watching this thing become alive. The branches began to move like it was a living being. And I'm not talking about moving just in the wind, but it began to move like it's a living being. And the sky behind the branches no longer was the sky behind the branches, but the branches was actually the sky in which the sky was moving. In other words, the branches became the background, the backdrop. And the sky was now moving where the branches used to be moving. So the sky was now pulsating uh, as if the sky had become the tree and the tree had become the sky. And they, as they pulsated together, they're pulsating in and out like this sky and tree pulsating in and out. And as they're doing it, they're merging to be no longer two entities, sky, backdrop, tree in the forefront. But now they're one entity pulsating in and out of three of the three-dimensional uh, world pulsating in and out of the three-dimensional perception and and it, guys like i'm these, these type of experiences happen all the time every single day but your they they can't happen as long as your brain is functioning at a beta wavelength they won't happen as long as you're functioning at that at that uh, rational wavelength and at that self-conscious and in the self-consciousness or the zero dimensional field so again i've been talking about this quite a bit here lately and there's lots of videos out there uh, of mine that you can check out just go to the day this go to the uh, daily trip video list and check those out at the end of this video but i want to just encourage you right now to right now a little practice Take a deep breath in through your nose. I'm going to do it with you, but so hold on. You're going to take a deep breath. I'm talking deep. So you're going to exhale. 
all the air out and then you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose all the way as hard as you as deep as you can not hard but as deep as you can and then hold as you do this you're gonna focus your eyes right up here to the, to your uh, pineal gland to the, the cerebral cortex and uh, we're gonna focus our eyes right there and then we're gonna hold for about three seconds and then we're gonna release through our nose gently release through our nose and as we do so we're gonna relax our eyes are you ready all right three two, one, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. open your eyes for most of you if you did exactly what I walked you through what you're experiencing is already a little bit of a head high a little bit of a head high uh, you're experiencing lots of energy if you pay attention to your hands you'll experience lots of tingling sensation even through your hands through your body and what's actually happening is you're beginning to fire up more of the alpha and theta brain waves. So your mind is going to start to slow down. As a matter of fact, they say that if you just close your eyes, if you just close your eyes, you immediately begin to fire up more of those brain waves. So by closing your eyes and bringing your eyes up into that third eye or the pin pin pineal gland, you're beginning to not only open up anamides and even some... Uh, some other cool uh, chemical reactions in your brain like dopamine and others but more than all of that we're slowing down the mind to begin to experience the moment more if you practice that and you do that three four five breaths at a time now if you do it for longer you do it for 10 minute by 10 minute practice you're gonna really enjoy it I promise but if you do that just a little bit that will actually help slow down the mind to begin to receive. So I'd encourage you to fucking do that before you even watch these videos so you're not trying to watch them at some sort of beta, you know, brain wave and trying to comprehend them or, you know, just take some time, take in three good breaths at 420. 420 every day is when our videos get published. The Daily Trip does. And, uh, well, actually at 415 they won't let me do 420. But go ahead take three deep breaths and at 420 click play and watch the video and just re just realize with me just allow it to sink in and uh, and hopefully you'll start to enjoy some of those trips that uh, I get to experience every single day tomorrow's video be on the alert 420 tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about ecstasis and what is the ecstasis ecstasis living and how you can begin to experience it deep more deeply and uh, listen, if you haven't subscribed, do that right now. Come trip out with me on a daily basis. And uh, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And be sure, be sure to check out yesterday's video on altered states of consciousness or the, the three dimensional field and how to transcend the zero dimensional field. Hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play. Thank <laughs> you.